Let's begin this newscast with some big news coming in on the Chandrayaan 2 mission as ever since the Indian Space Research Organization lost contact with the lander Vikram just 2.1 kilometers away from the moon's surface, every Indian has been hoping that all's well. And their hopes might just prevail as now in the latest development, ISRO has managed to trace the location of the lander Vikram on the lunar surface. ISRO Chief K. Sivan has said that the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter has clicked thermal image of the lander. Also, news agency ANI has quoted Sivan's tweet that the lander has been found. The ISRO chief, however, made it clear that no communication has been established with the lander yet and the organization was still trying. Lander Vikram had lost contact with ISRO while attempting a soft landing on the moon's south pole in the early hours of September 7th. This had dejected ISRO scientists and also the 1.3 billion Indians. But clearly not all is lost yet. It is perfectly possible that the lander has achieved a successful landing and there is some communication disruption. ISRO is constantly trying to establish communication with the lander. The operations will go on for the next 14 days, which equals to one lunar day. That is the life of the lander. And let's quickly go across to Mr. Ratan Srivastava. He's the aerospace defense and space expert joining us from New Delhi. Let's quickly go uh, get in some perspective from Mr. Srivastava. Mr. Srivastava, now that the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter has managed to locate the Vikram lander, how much of a possibility do you see in terms of re-establishing contact with Vikram? Right, Akansha. So uh, on this very show, uh, on Vyond, uh, day before yesterday, once that we lost contact, I had uh, I, I had said that we will be able to find the location of the lander within 24 to 48 hours uh, while doing the show with Saleh. And my 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 comfort came from the fact that the uh, cameras being carried on the orbiter have a very fine resolution of 0.3 meters which is very very precise it's the most advanced camera that can be carried that has been carried on any orbiter till now so the, it was not very difficult to locate it yet we had to be precise about it before we could before we could announce uh, unconfirmed reports are also saying that the uh, location of the lander is not too far from the intended site all right. So I will say that you're still, uh, you know, weighing in a possibility of uh, communication getting reestablished with the lander, right? See, Akansha, uh, uh, locating the lander is one aspect. All right. Uh, making communication with the lander is a completely different aspect. When you have to locate the lander, you are primarily using the orbiter camera to, uh, to, to, go, to scan the surface of uh, the moon and also pre precisely on the location of 70 degree uh, south where we were intended to land. Since for just 2.1 kilometers uh, uh, overing above, it had to just scan a very you know, uh, precise location to find. And as I said, unconfirmed reports say that it is not very far from the intended location. So that is finding the location. Mm. The, uh, the maintaining contact with the lander is completely different ball game because we have to uh, maintain contact through uh, the K band and the L band that is uh, the L band which is carried on the um, uh, orbiter and K band is on the uh, on the lander. So I'm sure uh, very soon, ISRO will be able to uh, maintain contact with the lander, either through the orbiter or maybe directly as well. All right. So that's an interesting point that you've made, sir, that finding the location is step one in the right direction. And step two, of course, is going to be to reestablish that communication. That, of course, seems like a possibility after hearing it what is, you it had is to say. It is not a possibility, Akansha. It is, I mean, I'm very confident given the talent that we have at ISRO right. and the capabilities of telemetry that ISRO possesses. I'm extremely confident that uh, ISRO will be able to maintain uh, contact, make a contact with the lander very soon. Uh, by, we, we have to see whether we are going to do it directly uh, through the uh, um, track in Bangalore or are we going to do it uh, through the um, orbiter. That remains to All be right. seen. But right. definitely I'm very confident that we'll be able to maintain contact. All right, so let's hope your confidence actually turns into reality. Uh, Mr. Shvastav, also, uh, ISRO is saying that the orbiter would send remote sensing observations from around 100 kilometer orbit of the moon. How crucial is and will be the orbiter's role in the entire mission? 
सो आकांक्षा ऑर्बिटर इज कैरिंग एट वेरी एडवांस साइंटिफिक पेलोड ऑन इट्स विद इट एंड इट हैज फॉर एग्जांपल इट हैज अ एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर व्हिच कैन गो टेन मीटर्स इनसाइड द सरफेस ऑफ द मून टू एक्चुअली कंटिन्यू वेरीफाइंग द डेटा दैट वी हैड फाउंड अलीयन एंड चंद्रयान वन प्रोब अबाउट द about about the ice and the water found on the lunar surface now we have to uh, now we have to confirm what is the quantity of the uh, ice and water how far deep into the surface it is located where all it is located so that's one thing uh, the other thing is this that it has a twin synthetic aperture uh, th- sy- uh, synthetic aperture radar so that twins sar sar which is there is again a very advanced instrument to map the surface of the moon you know it's like going to map it's like making a google map of the moon right, uh, right. we have uh, we have uh, two very advanced uh, uh, what should i say probes in normal language to find what is happening as far as the minerals and other matter which is available then there is an instrument which is being carried to find the extent of the seismic activity because uh lo- getting an idea of the seismic activity actually could unlock a whole lot of mysteries uh, towards the creation of the universe and the asteroids that which have periodically fallen over there uh, the moon dust which is there moon dust is again hmm. a very it, it, it's it's a very interesting you know uh, phenomena to be um, st- investigated all right clearly going by what you are informing us you know it is the the tools that are on this mission that on the orbiter that are extremely crucial to the entire mission how successful do you view india's moon mission to be despite the loss of communication with the lander and do you think that the entire trajectory of the media narrative needs to be corrected at the moment um i think akansha uh, media has been very supportive and uh, not only indian media the world media has been very supportive the global uh, space agencies have been very supportive nasa has very clearly come out in um, in in support of what isro has done and nasa has said it's definitely not a failure and uh, i uh, i would take a leaf out from what dr sivan the chairman of isro said yesterday he said about 95% of the mission is a success so only the site only the technology demonstrator which is the 5% of the mission which is to say that the rover had to get down on the surface of the moon has not been achieved till date we hope it is going to be done but dr shiva himself said yesterday um, on a show where even i was a panelist last night at 9 that 95% of the uh, mission is a success right. and the scientific part is a complete success all right uh, mr shivasav do you think the low cost of his rose chandrayaan 2 mission has given it the advantage of springing back into action to analyze and attempt again i don't know whether low cost <laughs> makes any difference in springing back but i would definitely say that the spirit and the exceptional talent that we have of our scientific community at isro is definitely responsible for not giving up and uh, making uh, right now finding the location and uh, definitely they have a role a very huge role in the frugal engineering that they have developed as a model for space faring nations we are the first we are the ones who have done this i mean our chandrayaan is 120th of the cost of what the other countries have right. done on isro as well so i think uh, the credit must go to the uh, scientific community at isro all right clearly much credit to be given to the scientific community at isro for you know this low cost management also will this mission now be a learning for isro's future missions be it studying the sun mars or venus so oh, definitely so uh, i would say you know uh, this is a this is a very unique mission in many ways akansha first of all uh, a big big cheers for the ladies at isro this is the uh, this is a this is a trial for the ladies in stem isro uh, vanita ji and uh, ritu karidhal who are the program director and the mission director of the uh, chandrayaan 2 our ladies and they were also involved with the mars mission and so that's a huge first and definitely the learnings that we are going to get from chandrayaan 2 are going to help us in chandrayaan 3 which we are planning later on mm-hmm. and uh, it is also definitely going to help us when we are going to possibly you know do landing on the moon of uh, the next rover and uh, sometime later 2024 the project artemis of nasa 
which is going to put boots on ground of uh, NASA. NASA is going to prop, uh, plan to send again astronauts to the moon in 2024, and that is called Project Artemis. It is going to help them as well because they are planning to land somewhere on the southern surface of the moon. All right, clearly not much has been lost. On that note, thank you so much, Mr. Rashan Ratan Shivasa, for joining us here live on World is One.